Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelists of the Roses. Last time, we beat Weevil here in, uh... What's the place? Chester. There we go. Today, we're going to go to T Tokesbury to fight Rex Raptor. And, yeah, all I did was just, um... You know, like, the changes I made to my deck was adding whatever bug we got from Weevil and block attack, and I just took out, like, two weak insects. They're not, like... The insects I took out won't really come in handy here, and like, even that insect I added won't be all that helpful, but I mean, you know, better uh, insect with 1100 attack as opposed to an insect with 300. But yeah, my undead darkness based deck is going to really shine here. Really. Oh, and also, um, in the previous part, thanks to Dark Paladin for clearing it up uh, concerning passwords with the cards and stuff like in forbidden memories uh the playstation one Yu-Gi-Oh uh game that was more you know like a traditional card game as opposed to this uh you actually could use the passwords off of the actual physical cards to unlock them in that game but of course that game had you know like you had to use star chips to buy those cards and in the end it wasn't really worth it like you're better off just like grinding battles to win you know better cards and uh just you know getting your fusions down pack so yep time to go and fight rex <clears throat> the rose duelist huh i'm not impressed in fact i'll crush you to a pulp with my dinosaur deck yeah we'll see we'll see So yeah, this one should be a little bit easier for me than Weevil. Oh, we got Labyrinth Spaces? Oh, please let me get Wall Shadow out then. That would really... I did not know there were Labyrinth Spaces. Oh my god, I, I can actually like corner him if I'm like really good. Okay. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so let's see what we got. Starting off, we have Curse Breaker. Giant Scorpion of the Tundra, the card I just won off of Weevil. Okay, I am I am not thrilled. I am not thrilled. I am not thrilled with this start. Um. Hmm. Just checking some stuff here. I just want to make sure I know what this actually does. Cancels all spellbind and power increases, decrease effects. I'm just going to go ahead and summon you. Move you up a bit and call it a day. There we go. Okay, I was actually, like, frightened for a second. Um... Like, it, it looked like he was getting ready to do something really amazing. Oh, wrong thing. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and place you like that. And let's see what we can do with this. Ooh, Cyberstein. What's your ability again? Occupied space into wasteland when engaged in battle. Well, I mean, you know, we're already kind of there. I'm just saying. Um, actually, I'll go ahead and just waste this magic card real quick. I don't see myself really doing anything with Curse Breaker. But hey, I mean, this will allow me to build up some uh, summon points. He's scaring me with these, like, fusion things, though, but he's just trying to burn through his cards. Ooh, and he's trying to come down there. You trying to block me, son? Nah, that's not how it goes. Ooh, Ukazi. Hmm. Okay, tell you what. I'm gonna go right here. And then... I'm gonna go ahead and use Ukazi real quick. 
deal some direct damage to him. I mean, 500, and it could be better, but I mean, it could be worse. And there's really nothing else for me to do that turn. Got my giant Maui head right there trying to protect me. Okay, um... Was not expecting that. Wow, he is trying to box me in. Um, I was not expecting a two-head King Rex. Can't say I was. Cannot say I was. Okay. Um, Skull Servant is not going to help me out here. <laughs> like, at all. Um, I am kind of screwed now. Ugh, okay. I was not expecting any of that. So, I mean, the best I can do now is just try to hold off. Two-headed King Rex right off the bat. I, ugh. And he's really taking the aggressive. Um. Oh, thank you. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, just go ahead and do this then. And then put him in defense. Actually, ah, ah, crap. I should have left him in attack. Should have left him in attack. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This this will work out better. This will work out better. Never mind. I'm an idiot. All right, let's go. At least I got Pump King out. That came just in a nick of time. But he's still mobilizing his monsters. So that leads me to believe that he has something in store for Pump King. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, good. He didn't have a trap card of any kind. Alright, so what we got right here. Ooh, Zanky. All right, all right. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I can get down with my bad self. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just summon Cyberstein. Have like a little line of defense, maybe. Still got Curse Breaker right there. We'll see what he does. Curse Breaker is not really gonna do much. Okay, the fact that he's like moving that card forward, he, he is either like... He, he, he either has something like really powerful why is he still moving the okay um I'll risk the damage here oh this is excellent wait but they have to be face up for the effect to take place right oh no 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 just yeah, if this card is face up, and okay, all my zombies will be fine. Okay, well, I'm going to have something waiting for him right here. Thank you, Dragon Zombie. All right, let's go. Hmm, that was just a Trachodon? Curse him for being out of my range. Oh my god. You made a very poor decision there. You're putting that in defense mode. Okay, well we got a little power increase going on here. First things first, let's check what I can summon. St 
stone rock. I mean, stone ghost. Why I say stone rock? That's the exact same thing. Uh, do, 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 do. Hmm. Actually, I'm just going to go right here. Do I really just want to waste my Zanky like that? Because, I mean, I do have that Sword of Dark Destruction. Eh, we'll just go ahead. I, I think I'll be fine, all things considered. And just in case, I mean, well, I mean, that is the better idea. He does have, like, what? More defense than his attack? You're just out of my range. I'm kind of salty about that. But all right, whatever. Let's go ahead and risk it. And that's why you got to pay attention to what you're doing before you act. That that was That was one of the dumbest things I've ever done. Um, so that, that was, that happened. That surely happened. Uh, yeah, now he's moving that to defense, yeah. Ha ha! Oh wait, no, that screwed me over. Oh no! You know, I don't know what he has face down, but I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Huh. He is not really doing too much defensively. Okay, and then I'll slowly move Dragon Zombie up. And can I summon anything and not be a complete idiot? Ooh, Dark Assailant. Okay, um... Well, I can't do anything with you just yet. I'll move you right there. You'll try to come over and attack. That actually was probably not the best idea. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I can... Su oh, but no, he'll... Yeah, that, that, that was a dumb decision of me. That was a dumb decision, because, yeah, he's going to try and chase me down now. All right. Um, I need to play a little bit smarter. I need to play, like, very smarter. Because I'm not doing that good of a job right now, all things considered. I'll just go ahead and burn through some cards here. Okay, let's go. I'm really disappointed at how that turn went. Like, what with me destroying uh, Cyberstein, and then this predicament I put myself in. Oh wait, no, no, no. That'll that'll actually be fine. Cause then I can move. Patrician of Darkness over here, and then I can take you out with Pum King. I'm kind of stunned at how well this is going, all things considered. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Let, 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 let's go ahead so we can actually watch some uh, animations here. J just a few, like maybe one or two. Oh, yes. Um. Dark Asalian, I'll just keep you on standby. And destroy and destroy the opposing monster as well. Okay. I can deal with this. I can definitely deal with this. I will let you come and attack me, and uh Yeah. Oh wow, he's down to 1,000 life points already? Wow, you are not having a good time, uh, Rex. Why is this battle going so fast, despite my stupid mistakes?
Well, I mean, yeah, probably because he's taking more of an offensive route than uh, Weevil did. And in my defense, my deck is tailor-made for Wasteland. You cannot hurt my dragon zombie. Just a Mia ramming your face into him attack. Yeah, eat poison gas. Okay, that actually looked rather painful. Huh. I'm actually stunned at how well this is going, all things considered. So is he gonna switch his? Well, I mean, he is coming in really quickly with this, whatever it is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in defense. I could. Oh wait, no, no, I can't end it just yet. Just out of my range. I'll still move you forward a bit and just check and see what I have in my hand. Just in case whatever he's moving on the right, or my right, is something that can stop my pumpkin. I have Fiend's hand right here um, to uh, help a brother out should things go bad. But I doubt whatever he's like mobilizing can hurt Pumpkin. Oh no. Alas, I summoned Go the Great Mammoth a little too late. He wasn't able to get not one bit of help from Pumpkin. Oh well, at least he's taken out this monstrosity too. Could I have moved Dragon Zombie two spaces and I only moved him up one? Why am I making stupid? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm just disappointed in myself. Like, even if I win, I was like, yeah, but you made some stupid decisions, guy. And you can't really afford to make those going forward. Because the game's just going to get harder from here on out. Oh, no. Well, at least I take no damage. Come on, I only have to do 500 more. Oh, now he's taking the defensive. Ooh. Okay, well, looks like you made a liar out of me. I just only have to do... Wow, if I actually moved you two spaces, I could attack his life points directly now. Whatever, um... Honestly, I'll just start moving Fiend's hand up. And, uh, what do I have right here? Skullbird. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh, machines get powered up by Wasteland as well? Huh. Go ahead and just summon you, I guess. You know, maybe you'll be able to contribute somewhat. And, yeah, nothing really to do now. Just bide my time. Oh, yeah, he's running. Why would you? Why would you summon something right here and not right here? Granted, you know, if it was something weak, but I mean, you know, it... <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know what he was trying to do here. Um, might as well move you guys up just in case, you know, worst case scenario, I guess. What do I have in my hand? <laughs> just, oh, Violet Crystal. It increases. Oh wait, actually, let me just keep it right here. Okay, um, so there's like no way I can lose this now. Wait, 
Increase the power of zombie monsters by 500 points, but... Do I just need to... Or do I actually need to use it on a single monster? Okay, I've forgotten how this kind of cart works. But whatever, I mean, I'm gonna win next turn, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and then you summon something behind you, okay. Fair enough, oh no. I'm incredibly salty right now. I am in I am incredibly incredibly just filled with salt. Like I have high blood pressure now. That is the extent of my salt. How, of all the things, of all the things, oh no. Okay, I, I, I can't even bear to watch this. Okay, so I'm in deep trouble now. Oh, wait. But would it be guaranteed that he would use this card first? There's no guarantee. Like, there is no guarantee. But I can buy, like, just buy myself some time. And, um, yeah, just keep hope alive. Of course. Wait, he's retreating? I don't understand. But fair enough. Oh, zombie warrior. Ah, uh, but he's just not good enough right now. Oh, man. I was not expecting that. What was that card? Eternal Rest? I don't... Oh, man. Ew, ew, ew. I'm scared now. All I can do is just hope. That's all I can do. Oh my god. <sighs> well. That's what I get for deciding like, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do live commentary this time around. <sighs> well, 
Whatever. I don't. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, I royally screwed up with that <laughs> violet crystal. I I, I don't even want to like, e even if I win this, I don't want to even post this part because of how poorly I was playing, but eh. Whatever. This can buy me some time, but I mean, oh wait. But I don't even know what that is, and then he's gonna be coming down here with that. He's taking the defensive. What is he doing? And yeah, you just increase the power of Shadow Spectres everywhere. Oh boy. Um, 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 um. Screw it, let's just burn through some cards, I guess. Do I even want to attack that? No, I'll let him attack me. Oh crap. Oh god, okay. Um, yeah, it's... It's looking like a wrap for me. It is looking like a wrap. Mm.
All hope is not lost. Maybe. I'm going to take 1700. Like, I'm going to take 1700 damage no matter what this turn, but. All hope is not lost. I'm going to go ahead. Just leave him right here. And then attack you. I can't believe that worked. Okay. We, we can do this. What is... What are you trying to accomplish, Rex? Whatever, I'll, I'll take my direct damage. I'll take it. Yami saved my, like, Yami just flat out saved me. Okay. Now, technically, since, yes. Because he can move through Labyrinth, so. Or, okay. Alright. Screw it. Let's do it. I'm sorry, what? So that effect takes place before. Okay. Um. All right. So that happened. <laughs> well, I feel dumb. I didn't know the wall shadow effect. I mean, granted, I probably should have known that. Oh yeah, the moment he goes in, he turns in the wall shadow. A sh <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and make another pumpkin. Well, that's not what I was really expecting. Um, yeah, because he's a warrior, he doesn't. <sighs> I am tired of making stupid decisions, people. I am. I'm just really tired. I really am. Whatever. I mean, I don't know why I was so fixated on that when the battle was over, but still. I'm just tired of... <laughs> I shouldn't even upload this! I shouldn't even upload this! This was so stupid. I mean, I guess in my defense, like, oh, well, you know, I haven't played this game in forever, <laughs> but still, that was just very poor play on my part. Though I really do like the cards that I received. Thank you very much. Yes, Rocky Raid Eternal Rest. Definitely. Thank you. Oh, my God. That screwed me over. So yeah, call this a Pyrrhic victory, if you will. I mean, I won, but I don't feel good about it because I was playing like so stupid. Like, I'm, I'm not even, just looking back on this, I'm like, yeah, there were so many things I could have handled differently. So many things I did poorly. I mean, I won, but uh, I, I, I don't think I should have. Oh well, let me lose, I don't believe it. Yeah, well, as Naruto would say, believe it. Oh my god. So we got our second White Rose card, and we have unlocked two more places to go. So we have Necromancer, aka Bones, right here in Exeter. Well, I mean, Bones in the anime, he's Necromancer here. And Darkness Ruler in St. Albans. I cannot remember your name in the anime. Some's telling me pain, but I don't think that's correct. Because there is, in fact, a Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I mean, not Yu-Gi-Oh, but I mean, there is a uh, Naruto character named Pain, and I was just talking to somebody about him the other day, so I mean, that's why Pain is sort of sticking out in my mind, but I think that could be this dude's name in the anime. Oh, well, whatever. Um, next time, one of them, because... Yeah, Bandit Keith. I don't know, I, that, that deck cost scares me, and like hell, I'm about to fight Pegasus with his freaking Toon deck right now. So yeah, either Bones or Pain next time, or AKA Necromancer or Darkness Ruler next time. And both of which I think are on terrain that will really benefit me, as long as I don't do stupid things like I did in uh, today's video. So yeah, next time, more stuff. Thank you all for watching, have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of Roses. My mood is just gone because of that. Oh yeah, let, let's let's look at these cards here, real quick. Eternal Rest <sighs> destroys all zombie monsters on the field. Oh wait, that's just all zombie monsters in general. That can screw me over too, because I believe, I mean, well, yeah, just all zombie monsters in general. That includes my own, so. I will have to be careful with this. It can come in handy, but I'll just have to be careful. And, oh wait, wrong field. Okay, and then Brachio Raids, I don't even know why I'm checking that, but yeah, that 2200, oh snap, he's looking good. And Sword Arm of Dragon, oh boy. I'm just looking at their power-up cards real quick. All right, whatever. So yeah, next time, Necromancer or Darkness Ruler. See ya, goodbye.